There was an anti-racist protest held today in Imperial Beach. It's been one year since police responded to an assault at a Black Lives Matter protest in this same area. Fox 5's Claire Benitez has the message from a man who was punched in the head during this protest. From chance to a minute of silence, the Imperial Beach People Alliance commemorating their one year anniversary. Students called for a rally and were bullied into not having one on social media. So really caring people came together and that group of people formed the Imperial Beach People's Alliance. Marcus Boyd, one of the founders of the Alliance, was punched in the head while recording the Black Lives Matter protests they had organized last summer. It's odd that an entire court case has gone through but we still can't have any changes at City Hall. Earlier this year in April, 39-year-old Jeffrey Brooks and 33-year-old Henry Brooks both admitted to hate crime allegations. Henry Brooks threw eggs at the demonstrators and Jeffrey punched Boyd in the head, causing him to fall and hit his head. He tries to punch me this time? Please don't let him. <laughs> In addition to the hate crimes, Jeffrey pled guilty to a felony battery count and Henry Brooks pled guilty to a felony assault. But Boyd didn't want the two to go to jail. To have somebody sit there and stew in prison and become hardened would have worked my nerves forever. But to have him out going through counseling, now whether that works or not, I know prison's not going to work. One year later, Boyd says it's the best thing he could have done. Probably the best decision I've ever made in my life. It was the most relieving burden from my shoulders that I've ever felt.